Hi guys, it's Matt from Maxon UK and in this video we're going to take a quick exploration of the light box which can be found in the Cinema 4D content browser for people with Visualize and Studio. Now the light box is a really nice object in that you've got a whole load of scene controllers um, which allow you to configure so much to do with putting forward some like, like pack shot lighting and things. You can see I've got these two standard objects in there. They come as part of the control scene so that you can kind of see um, what you're dealing with. So reflective and also transparent objects. Now the scene controller, if I just click here, go to my user data, you can see that we have a few different things that we can look at. So you've got material reflection which is whether or not the sides, top and back are reflective and shown in the object. If I come out of my camera actually, you can see that this is the object that we have. So it's basically like a, a, a big standard photography softbox, um, light box diffuse thing, where it's lit from the sides and you are getting um, a nice diffuse light on the inside. And you can control so much reflection on and off of the sides, the back and the front and you can control exactly how much reflection that gets. You've got light visibility as well. So you can turn the lights off so that it's not working from you know any particular side that you want. Or you can have them no completely darkness, which isn't going to help a great deal. But you've got the ability of controlling how powerful that is and how much you want it to wash out. Um, you've got light front intensity, so it's being lit from the front and from the bottom as well and you've also got some ambient light visibility you can choose to have shadows as well if you want to make sure that you're getting some some more realism in there and if I just do another quick render we should be able to take a look at those okay there we go you can see we've got a little bit of shadow around the outside now uh, we've also got an ambient occlusion floor on as well which just allows the the lighting to seat a little bit more realistically but it's a really nice sort of drag and drop scene for you to be able to put whatever you want in if you want to light it nicely and you've got a product you want to show off and you've got Visualizer or Studio, load this up and stick it in there. You know, it's really good for you to be able to use. You've got different cameras that you can look through as well. So front camera and top, so you've got slightly different angles. This scene even has different render settings as well. So you've got high-end, mid-range and preview, depending on sort of like the size um, and things that you want to be working with. So, you know, best geometry or um, best or geometry when it comes to anti-aliasing, those sorts of things. Even the um, you know the output sizes as well. It will it will work to. So this is just something that I find is a really useful tool that's already in cinema. If you want to be able to light something. So if I just go to my content browser and I find something else, for example, um, actually in tall glass. But, you know, you, you can pick anything else out of there. Maybe I should have gone for a wine glass. There we go. Or, you know, something like this. You can see we've got a nice seamless background. We're nice and whitely lit. We've got some good reflections going on in there as well, which is something that helps with realism of really shiny objects. It's, it's quite funny, really. You spend hours as a photographer when you're dealing with product shots trying to take out the things that you don't want in reflections and yet in 3D here we are trying to put them in to make it seem more realistic. Okay, the light box is a lovely little tool. Again, if you've got video, um, visualize or studio, it is in your content browser. You can just do a search for it. Um, so if I just go to light box and if I just right click for you an open containing folder you can see that under Visualize, Presets, Light Setups, Studio Setups, we have this lovely light box for you. Okay, well, I hope that was a useful tutorial for you and a little glimpse into a really useful product in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk.